IMSA is set for one of the most intense finales in the series history, as seven different prototypes have a chance of winning the GTP championship with one race to go. For this video, I will break down what you need to know about this title fight, as IMSA rounds off their 2023 season and the first of the LMDH era. Since the very first round of the season at the Rolex 24, everything has been building up to this last event, Petit Le Mans. The 2023 GTP title fight is set to be absolutely incredible, and not just because of the incredible racing we should get for this title, but also because of the amount of contestants involved in this. Leading this championship is the number 31 Action Express Racing Cadillac. They lead with 2,460 points. In second is the number 10 Konica Minolta Acura from WTR, and they are just three points behind. In third is the number 6 Porsche Penske 963, and they are just five points behind the championship leader. And finally, completing the top four is the number 25 RLL BMW, which has a 38 point gap to the championship leading Cadillac. Notice that the top four in the championship are all different cars, just proving how successful the LMDH era and the reborn GTP class has been for IMSA. These four cars are the main contenders in this GTP title fight, but I do want to mention before moving on that there are three more cars with a chance of winning this title, and while it's not completely likely, it is still mathematically possible. After their win at Road America and second place at Indianapolis, the number 7 Porsche Penske moves into fifth position and has a 73 point gap to the number 31 Cadillac. In sixth is the number 60 MSR Acura with a 127 point gap. And finally, in seventh is the other full time V Series R. The 01 Chip Ganassi Cadillac has a 139 point gap to the championship leading Action Express Cadillac. So as you can tell, there are seven cars that can mathematically win this 2023 championship. But for the remainder of this video, I'll be specifically looking at the top four cars in this championship, as I believe those are the entries that have the most realistic chance of taking this 2023 title. Well, let's talk a little bit more about the track that this title will be decided on. IMSA's event, Petit Le Mans, is the third biggest race in the championship, just sitting behind the 12 hours of Sebring and, of course, the big 24 hours of Daytona. On October 14th, Road Atlanta will hold a massive 10-hour endurance race, so this means we will see night racing return to the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship, and this could have a massive effect on the GTP title as some cars run better in the cooler conditions at night. So besides it being the finale of the season and this being the GTP title decider, we also have a day to night time cycle, which is going to be a huge factor for teams to take into consideration. Something else to keep in mind is the reliability of these LMDH race cars. Since this is a 10 hour endurance race, teams not only need to think about car performance, but of reliability as well. And that could be a big factor in all of this. And it could be a reason for one of these cars to be victorious. Also keep in mind that the GTP title is not the only championship that will be decided during this 10 hour endurance racing event. That's right. Four other championships within IMSA will be decided at the end of the event. This is the beauty of endurance racing, because there's not one race going on, there is five. However, there will be 54 cars racing simultaneously for 10 hours straight on this 2.5 mile track, so the factor of traffic could affect the GTP title race. In terms of IMSA's point system, achieving first is going to be giving you the max amount of points, as 350 points are up for grabs. And with finishing in second being 320 points, this means there is a 30 point gap between first and second, 
So the fact is, teams are not going to back down even if they're in a solid second or third position. Every single point is going to count in this title fight, and that's what makes this race even more exciting. Now I'm sure you're wondering, which teams and cars will be quick here at Road Atlanta? Well, here's the thing. Even though we've had multiple practice sessions with these GTP cars at this track, we still don't have a lot of information on which teams and cars will do the best during this 10-hour endurance race. And that's down to the fact that LMDH cars have never participated Petit Le Mans, because 2023 is the first year of these new prototypes, and 2022 was the last race here at Road Atlanta when IMSA still had the DPI regulations in place. So while I don't have a ton of information on that topic, I do believe that one of the cars that will be the fastest is the ARX 06 Acura. Road Atlanta is a flowing circuit. It has this roller coaster feel to it across the entire lap, and I believe that is where the Acura ARX 06 thrives. So while I believe Acura will have a very fast car, that doesn't mean that the other three manufacturers will not. We have to take into consideration that this is a day to night race, which means that we will see cooler track conditions towards the end stage of this event. When we look back to the night racing of IMSA, the Porsche 963 and Cadillac V Series R really came alive during this stage. So I would also expect to see Porsche and Cadillac do well at Road America, especially during the night period of this race. And let's not forget about BMW. During its extraordinary progression as an LMDH prototype, the M-Hybrid V8 has proven that it can race on multiple different types of tracks. Just look to Long Beach, CTMP, and Watkins Glen. Those are three different circuits and the BMW was very quick there. So I wouldn't rule out BMW. They most definitely have an opportunity to win this championship. But the fact remains the same, we still have literally no idea who is going to be the fastest team at Road Atlanta. And with the amount of points up for grabs during this event, it could be really anyone's game. This unknown pace factor was pointed out in Motorsport.com's recent interview with Porsche Penske number no. 6 driver Nick Tandy when he spoke about the Porsche 963 and their chances at Road Atlanta. We're not totally sure about Road Atlanta. Our car seems very strong in the braking zones of heavy braking corners, which Atlanta doesn't really have a lot of. It only really has one. We have our ideas about what we might face at Atlanta and when particular cars might be strong and might struggle. I'm not going to give too much away, but it's a track that is a bit more unknown to us than what we thought heading to Road America or Indianapolis, for example. Porsche might not be fast at all, and they could be completely dominant. The fact is, we don't know everything at this point. But now, I'm going to give you my prediction for who I think is going to win this championship. And believe me, it's been a very hard decision to make. But I'm going to bet on the number 10 Wayne Taylor Racing Acura. I still believe that Acura will have a very strong car here at Road Atlanta. Wayne Taylor Racing has also had one of the most competitive cars this season. Just look to the first three rounds of this season. I think they could have won all three of them. At the Rolex 24, if they were given a few more laps, I believe they would have passed MSR for the race lead. Then at Sebring, they crashed out with the other two Porsche Penske's and were in a position to win that race. Then following that was Long Beach. They had the fastest car the entire weekend by qualifying on pole position, and they had faster tires towards the end of the event. But after that car crashed at turn one, it was disappointing considering that Acura was likely going to win that race. And throughout the rest of the season, they've still been competitive, picking up a few podiums, for instance, at Road America and CTMP. In the earlier part of the season, they just got very bad luck. I think it would also be quite astonishing if WTR took the championship, considering that they have never won a race this season. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe if WTR took this championship, they would be the first team in the history of the reborn IMSA championship to take the championship without winning a single race in the overall IMSA category. But of course, that's just my prediction. 
I'm really interested to know yours. Comment down below your prediction. But the fact of the matter is, whoever is champion, IMSA is set to have an incredible event at Road Atlanta. Seven different cars have a chance of taking this championship. And I think the 2023 event will one day be iconic and will be added to the history books of IMSA. Thanks for following along. If you want to see more endurance racing content, especially on IMSA and WBC, make sure to hit the subscribe button to the left. Also, check out one of the suggested videos I put to the right of your screen. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.